Hello, welcome to a special internet segment of my show. You can only catch this segment only on Facebook and YouTube. And my special guest today is Kathy DeClan. Hi, Kathy. Hi, how are you? I am great. So you wanted to come on and talk about a problem that's going on on Facebook. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, here lately, uh, clowns are being targeted to either change their name or they're blocked off Facebook. Uh, that happened to me with my profile and I had to rebuild a new profile. Uh, several of my other clown friends has either disappeared or has had to change the name. Oh, wow. So what was the requirement for you to change your name? Was it like your legal name, like on your like on your driver's license and on your credit cards? Yep, that's exactly what it said. It said that you need to post a name that you would have on your driver's license and or credit card. Uh, if it is not a proper name, then you're blocked. So basically, if it's not a proper name like John Jones or... Jim, Jamie Smith or some crap like that, then you're banned off Facebook. Is that? Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. I, I know, okay, I know from the standpoint there's a lot of creepers on Facebook that go by false names. Like I had an ex-boyfriend of mine who did the exact same thing. He was kind of a creeper, but he used the alias of Peter Parker, which is, by the way, lame sauce. <laughs> Because everybody knows who you are because your favorite superhero was Spider-Man. So yeah, we all know who you were. But in the cases where, you know, people who are like in the spotlight, they want to be, they want to have their private lives private and their public lives public, which are two separate things. And I could totally understand that because I personally go by my stage name, which is Alexander Paris. Nobody's going to know my real name unless you know me personally. And I don't want stalkers. I don't want people coming up on my door going, hey, if I don't like being ignored. If you ignore me, I'm going to boil this bunny rabbit like a fatal attraction. No, not cool. Yeah, but exactly. And, and that's one of the reasons I didn't want my real name on there, because I have had problems with stalkers. I've had to block many, many weird right. people that want to touch my hair, want to role play, they want me to take them to lunch. I don't know these people. Right. Why, you know, would I want them touching me? If they have my real name, they could find me. Exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually kind of scary if you think mm -hmm. about it. It really is. I can't tell you how many times I've had people call my show and be like, can, can you let Alexandra know I want to take her out? No, it's like, oh my God, seriously, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Well, Facebook had had told me that I am being dangerous because people don't know who they're talking to right. by me not revealing my real name. Oh. But they don't realize that by me putting out my real name, that's putting me in danger. That's putting that's my putting family your, yeah, in danger. Yeah, that's putting your loved ones in danger. Mm -hmm. It's putting your friends in danger, too. Exactly. And that's just, that's what Facebook doesn't get is sometimes if uh, those of us, like you and I, we choose to be in the public spotlight and we mm -hmm. choose to entertain people, we can't go by our real names because there's a lot of crazy and mm -hmm. sick people out there. Because how do we know, for example, um, I'm going to use Jennifer Lopez as an example. Jennifer Lopez, how do we know that's not her stage name? How do we know that Jennifer Garcia is not her real name? And she goes by Lopez because she doesn't want all these crazy mofos stalking her. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same with, um, say, Keanu Reeves or... or uh, Justin Timberlake. How do we know that that's not their their stage names and their real names could be like something plain like Jones or Phillips or whatever? Because we've we've heard of celebrities being stalked. Oh, yeah. In some in in some cases, there was this landmark case, and I believe 1985 with um I don't know her name was. She she was she was this young girl. She was she was had a lot of promise, 
And in 1985, she co-starred with Pam Dauber on My Sister Sam. Oh, yes, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And I d this is going to drive me nuts because now I don't know her name. I know her last name was Schaefer. Mm -hmm. And and this was back in the day where you could get the person's address mm -hmm. from the DMV. And that's how the killer got to her was because he got her name and her address in the DMV. And thank God the DMV doesn't go that way anymore. It was not very smart on their part. And so, mm -hmm. and yeah, because now with the internet and people can find anything on the internet, we have to go through great lengths to protect ourselves now. Mm -hmm. Well, I just, I don't understand why Facebook is doing this. And it seems like it's only happened to clowns and not all the clowns. I mean, it's it's been a lot of clowns, but not all of them have maybe been the found, Well, maybe the founders of Facebook have a phobia of clowns. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're scared of clowns. Maybe one of them was traumatized as a child by a clown, or maybe they saw it by Stephen King when they were five years old. I don't know, but, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It really is, because I can tell you there's so many people that do do it on Facebook. To protect their identities yeah. and to protect themselves but unfortunately on the flip side of the coin it's those that go by false identities that stalk others that make it bad for the ones that protect themselves mm -hmm. like the ex-boyfriend who went by Peter Parker for example yes I know who you are and if you're watching this I got you pegged well see like <laughs> last year I had this weird crazy fan yeah uh, she comes through the haunted house I work at right and Next thing I know, I'm getting these messages from her. I thought it was okay, just teenage girl, no problem. So I, you know, I am responding because it's just like, hi, how you doing? I saw you from afar. You never came my way this time when I come through. Basically, okay, just, just innocent fan it, stuff, right? Exactly. But as time went <laughs> on, it got weirder and weirder and weirder to the point where she was asking to touch my face. Uh -oh. She was asking to smell me to touch my hair, to role play with her, take her to lunch, and then when I declined, you know, I did it nicely. I said, you know, I, I'm really sorry, right, but I'm right. really busy. I would love to, but I really can't. Then she got, well, you know, I just want to go kill myself. And, you know, just talking about killing people and killing herself. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, you have a lot of issues. I'm sorry. To, but if, if this girl had had my real name, uh, yeah, you know, that could have been a very scary situation. Yes, very scary situation. You know, I wasn't so much afraid of her for myself, I was more afraid for my children, right? Because I, I do have kids, right? Um, and I don't need these weirdos mm -hmm. coming around to my kids. Um, you know, it just. I, I am going to fight this thing on Facebook because I will not reveal my real name on Facebook. I won't. Well, it's kind of like um, being a superhero and not revealing your secret identity because if you reveal your secret identity, like, if, if, if the whole world were to find out that Clark Kent was Superman, oh man, the whole world would be like gunning for not just Clark, but his family, his loved ones, his dog. That's got to suck. <laughs> so yeah, I, you, because now you can understand why there's a, that archetype in comic books where the superheroes just do not reveal their identity at all. And that's why you, su and you wonder why celebrities, even people around town who are very high profile are very private about their public lives. Uh, God knows I am. Yeah. Oh, I am too. I uh, I mean, I only let my, my close friends and my my family know my real name, which I'm not revealing on here. Uh, and and I am very careful on my more public Facebook profile about what I tweet on my Facebook because I have more followers on my public profile on Facebook than I do on my private profile. I, I keep that for family and close friends on purpose. Because, you know, we ju we, you just don't need that. No. You know, and, and the world is getting more and more. More and more dangerous, mm -hmm. exactly. So it's like you have to protect yourself out there. Yep. 
interesting. So to all you clowns out there, you know, help me fight this because it's really messed up. It's not fair. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm having to rebuild my friends list. I can't find half of the friends that I had before. A lot of the clowns are gone, like I said, because, you know, like me, a lot of them refuse to post their real name. Right. And we shouldn't have to. I mean, it's that. Well, and it's not just that. I mean, if you want your name that's on normally on a credit card or, or state ID or driver's license, it's like, how do we know that you're not going to be a victim of that identity theft either? Right. Because there's a lot of that going on. There really is. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if Facebook's going to target people using false names, they need to get you know, start targeting the pedophiles, the rapists. Yes, they do. You know, instead of the clowns. I mean, we do this as, we do this for fun. We do this as a profession. You know, this is not, we are not doing this to stalk people. Well, I've, I've never seen, I've known you for a long time. I know you're not a dangerous person. Hey, I'm not. Well, not that <laughs> I know of. <laughs> Well, I could tell kind of like too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it. How many how many um how many clowns do you think were targeted? You were telling me around nine hundred. Um, I can't say for sure. I really don't know because uh, you know, I'm not friends with all the clowns on Facebook, but I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's a lot. It, it the numbers out there. That's that's quite a few clowns. I mean, who is Facebook going to target next? Are they going to target pinup models? Are they going to target actors, actresses, maybe? What about the children who have profiles and the parents put false names on there? You know, they got to target the kids, the teenagers with false names. You know, that's really messed up. Yeah, it really is because it's just, it's just really scary. Facebook is just making it easy for predators to find certain people. Exactly. I, I have to agree. So, um, do you have any advice for anybody who el else who's been through this and who's only trying to protect themselves on Facebook? Advice I'm not really sure of. Just to help me fight this. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you have to get yourself blocked and then start over, that's what I did. You know, maybe start, start, a, start a solidarity thing, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on thank the show, you. Taffy. And um, if you are a professional clown or an entertainer of some sort and you've experienced this problem with Facebook, um, our suggestion is start all over again, start a new profile, and help. Uh, let's all band together and fight this because... You know, we in, in a world that's getting crazier and crazier every day, we need to fight this. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.